you know, and work it all out and all that kind of stuff. But the, one, one of the best ways to improve your improvisation is to take some chords, record them and listen back to them and sing something over the top of it without your hands doing anything. Just sing the music and then learn it and then get those ideas going, you know. Guys like George Benson and, uh, and Django and guys like that, they have so much knowledge but they also, um, they have so many good ideas to start with, you know. And everybody gets it from somewhere else, you know. Um, uh, George got it from, got a lot of good ideas uh, from Wes McConaughey and, and Charlie Christian, um, and of course Django, uh, and everybody else. You know, yeah, I, I know George, and I know that he listens to everybody. He wants to learn from everybody, the same as I do, the same as most people that I know in in this business. We all learn from each other, and we all want to we all want to beg, steal, and borrow from each other. You know. And that's how, it, that's how it gets handed on. I record something and you hear it and um, you do your own thing with it and then someone hears you and they, they take it and so it goes on, you know. It's like the circle of life, isn't it? It's the circle of music and it just goes round and round. And uh, I mean, there are guys who can improvise much better than me, but, but I, I like to stay close to the, the melody, especially when it's a beautiful song like The Nearness of You. It doesn't need a lot of embellishment just uh, I try to approach it like I'm I'm the singer mm -hmm. you know what I mean and and when I learned the song I not only learned the melody but I learned the lyric it's not the pale moon that excites me that thrills and delights me oh no and I I got on YouTube and I watched Ella Fitzgerald sing it Sarah Vaughan sing it I watched everybody do it and uh, and then that's how I kind of built my arrangement the same with my version of um, uh, Mona Lisa. Mm -hmm. uh, I listened to uh, Nat King Cole sing it, and then I listened to his phrasing and all that, and just tried to think like a singer when I play. That's what makes my playing sound a little different, is I think like a singer. I don't think like I'm just the guitar player. You know? I think like I'm the singer. And your there was so much joy and so much light. Thank you. Yeah. It must be what the world inspiring. needs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's there's there's enough other stuff out there in the world. There's enough negativity. You turn the TV on, and that's what you get: negativity and all that. And so, I I spend my life trying to put out positive energy into the world and into people. You know. And, yeah. Last night in Moscow, uh, about towards the end of the show. A lady leaned over the balcony and held up this sign, and it's a huge sign that said, please play Mombasa. When, when, I, when I did, the audience all jumped up their feet and they came down the front and it, it seemed to just break the, the chains and everybody came forward. Do we have that sign here? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, maybe I will play it tonight. I don't know. We, this, this show is very, very different. I'm playing electric music as well as acoustic. I play with the band, I play solo, and we all sing, and the show's got everything. You know. So, anyway. Did anybody else have anything they wanted me to sign? Oh, you've got a, yeah. a strato <laughs> cap. <laughs> all right, thank you. Very nice. <laughs> I like straps.